Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. following a home invasion on Indy's Near East Side. Fox 59's Jesse Wells talked to neighbors who say problems at that home have been going on for years. Police believe the shooting started after the suspects kicked in the back door of this home right here behind me. At the same time, police reports show this is not the first time that same family has been targeted with violence. Just after four in the morning, IMPD officers on patrol heard gunshots and within minutes responded to a home on Brookside Parkway South Drive where they found three people shot inside. I just can't believe this happened. Several families are devastated by this incident. Tony Poteet says her family lives in the home. Police believe multiple suspects forced their way into this back door. One woman was fatally shot downstairs, a second woman died after being shot upstairs, and a teenage boy was critically wounded. There's nothing that anybody could do that is worth taking someone's life. This violence has to stop. While the motive for the violence remains unclear, police insisted overnight they're confident the victims were specifically targeted. Detectives here at the scene do not believe that this was a random act. In the daylight, the front window of the home was visibly shattered by gunfire, which police think came from outside the home. This is ridiculous. You're not even safe in your own home anymore. Multiple neighbors tell me they're frustrated because these police reports confirm shots have been fired at the same home on three previous occasions as far back as 2019 and as recently as last October. This is senseless. If you want, this, this is not a battleground. This is the neighborhood. Several young children were inside the home at the time of the deadly shooting. Fortunately, those kids all escaped unharmed. Finally, police did not have any detailed suspect information to release and no arrests have been made, but anyone with information on the case can still contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.